Today we've flown over 1,000 missions, um, probably around uh, 1,800 hours, and uh, more than 4,600 jobs have been done, uh, either proactively or reactively. I don't know how we did without an aircraft um, prior to this. You know, like the, the variety of jobs that's been utilised for, and I guess also the added officer safety, um, the feedback we can give officers on the ground that you know someone might be armed, that someone's uh, you know they're about to walk around a corner where someone's hiding. I had no idea basically how much the aircraft or a police aircraft could do, So, and there's certainly a lot to learn from an air crew perspective. The helicopters that we used were originally emergency rescue helicopters over in Germany. A multi-purpose and multi-platform have uh, been previously used as tank busters, aerial observation and rescue. It's been fitted with a, an amazing array of technical equipment uh, to make it cutting edge and probably best practice in Australia at the moment. Standard. Uh, procedure for the helicopter is uh, one civilian pilot and, uh, and two police officers. Uh, the front seat officer is generally termed as the mission commander. They'll coordinate the, the, um, the jobs coming through and previous taskings and utilise mobile mapping, digital mapping systems to get us to that location in coordination with the pilot to ensure that we're at the right tactical orbit. It has to be a very tight knit team. Uh, everyone needs to get along. Uh, you need to understand what the other person's role is as well. You need to be a good communicator. You need to accurately communicate something that you may see on the ground that the might not be visible to the pilot, might not be visible, visible to the mission commander. So you need to articulate exactly what it is you're looking at, where it is and what it is that's occurring. Uh, the second helicopter is just being built now, just going through its final touches. Uh, to have two helicopters available, uh, one on the Gold Coast and one in Brisbane. Based on um, the feedback that we've received in the southeast region, um, the police have really embraced it. Uh, probably the critical thing is uh, originally they thought it was just a big job helicopter, only to go to the sieges and the, and the things like that. It's proven its worth in some of the smaller jobs as well.